storms in the forecast for tomorrow and the weekend. What do you need to do to make sure that your car runs safely? Yeah, because it always seems to happen, some of those dust mm -hmm. storms, especially right when we're in the middle of rush hour. So let's check in with Colton, who is live this morning with what we all need to know. Good morning, Colton. Good morning, Tess, and good morning, Gina. Yeah, driving through the rain and driving through those big dust storms that we have here in the valley can really take a toll on our vehicle. So right now we're at the Good Works Auto Repair in Tempe talking with uh, Glenn here about some things we need to know to make sure that our cars are running in tip-top shape during storms and after the storms. So yes. the first thing we want to talk about is the body. I know that when we are hearing about storms coming in, a lot of us don't want to you know, wash our car or even afterwards, but that's important. It is important because once you have a good protective coating put on there, the car is less resistant to have stuff sticking to it. It washes off a lot easier. Cuts down wind drag, and that's why people who race cars and stuff like that make sure there's a great coat of wax or some polymer agent on there to help make the car a little bit more slick in the, in the wind. Yeah, and one of the things too, guys, that I hadn't really thought about, but there are these rubber moldings here. So Glenn, you were talking about how important it is to make sure that those are in, in pretty good shape. I was telling them earlier that mine right here was kind of like loose and pulling off. I'm sure a lot of people are in that same boat. Right, these, these are basically held on with a little bit of adhesive and then they have a metal spring inside that grabs the little edge in there to keep them in their place. But over a period of time, people moving themselves or things in and out of the vehicle, they can get these torn. So some manufacturers like Honda here, for instance, have put this protective mat over the top of it so that when your foot comes in, it doesn't kick and tear that material. Protects it. There's also a seal on, the, on this side of the door, on the inside, so when those two meet each other, it keeps wind noise and stuff and rain and other debris mm -hmm. from coming in from the outside. Also driving during these dust storms, I know it's hot here in the valley, so what is the, uh, the tip for driving with air conditioning on? Well, the air conditioner, I mean, primarily, uh, you can run it anytime while you're in a storm, but you'll notice that sometimes your windows start to get fogged up. So the idea is to put it on the defrost mode at that point, or at least a balance between the defrost mode and blowing on you. That way it keeps your windshield and your side windows from defogging so you have better visibility. Okay, awesome. And guys, take a look at this. I'm sure that you've gone to your dealership or your auto place and they're saying, hey, your cabin air filter is pretty dirty. I know mine has looked like this a couple of times. We're going to check in with him to see why it's important to always be on top of that to make sure that's in uh, pretty good shape when you're out driving. Send it back to you guys. Good information, Colton. Thank you. Developing this morning, the